Yeah, sure. Happy birthday, Felipe. Um, how how are you? How are you doing physically? I know you've been banged up recently and everything. How, how are you feeling? And and do you think this time off is going to get you good to go? Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you now. Okay, perfect. Yeah, no, I think that I mean just having this little bit of time off. Um, it's I mean. I think it just gives everybody a, a chance to get their bodies back, you know, have a little bit more time, you know, after like practices and to, to, to get in the training room, get treatment, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's been a good opportunity just to be able to take care of your body. And I think everybody's taking advantage of that. So it's been good for not just me, but everybody. So. Tom? Felipe, Sam Pittman told us yesterday that he thinks the program's pointed in the right direction, just wishes that he could have delivered a few more or y'all could have delivered – a few more wins this year. And I'm wondering your thoughts about what role you felt, you know, the, the role you played in the program this season and for, for the fans getting things back on track. Yeah, um, I think that just kind of hitting on getting things back on track, I think that was important just for a program identity, just getting things back on track and winning and getting the winning column and being able to compete against every game that you're in. Um, I think that we did for the most part um, without a game here or there. You know, we were in every game um, and competing, and we did a good job with that. So I think the program's turned around. It's definitely headed in the right direction. Coach Pittman, all the staff, nutrition, everybody, I mean, doing a great job of getting the program going in the right direction. And then my role um, just kind of just fell into place. I mean, just just be you. I think that's everybody's role is just be yourself, um, be an encourager, be a leader, and, you know, things will fall into the right, the right place. So I think just the team has done a great job this year. Um, you know, with a 10 game SEC schedule, uh, you know, knowing that this needs to be kind of a year to like get things turned around. I think we did a good job embracing the challenge um, and kind of looking at it, looking at the challenge right in the eye and, and facing it. So we did a, did a good job. Obviously, wish there was more wins, but um, it's just headed, it's headed in the right direction. So. Otis. Felipe, hey, what do you what do you see of? We don't get to see practice. We saw KJ against Missouri, obviously. Uh, but talk about KJ and Malik in practice, how they look and everything. They look good. They look really good. Uh, I think that um, KJ is just continually getting better, doing a great job of just getting completions um, and, and and being really accurate with the ball. And then Malik's doing a great job of just learning the offense and being vulnerable to, to the coaching and being vulnerable to Coach Bryles, doing a great job. Um, you know, just soaking in all the knowledge. So I think Malik is going to be really good. And also with KJ, as, as well as the rest of the quarterbacks. I mean, everybody is just using this time, you know, as an opportunity to, to learn the offense better, get things more down pat. Um, and that's just kind of what we're focusing on in the quarterback room. And that's uh, Coach Braz doing a great job with everybody, making sure that everybody's paying attention in meetings. Everybody's, you know, doing what they need to do to take that next step in the off season right now. So, or not in the off season, but both season. Jordan. Hey, Felipe, happy birthday. Um, just a little bit about the opportunity to play one more game, how significant that is for you and maybe what you hope to show off in, in one more showing that hopefully some teams will get to see. Yeah, um, yeah. if I was being honest with you, I don't really approach it like that. But at the end of the day, I just approach it as another game. Um, I don't think that for one second, the mindset or the strategy or the routine has changed at any point this year. So um, just keeping keeping that on track um, on a day to day basis is the most important thing. But it's going to be fun to go out with a bang. Um, we have a great opportunity playing a really good team with TCU and a great bowl. Um, so it'll be fun for all these guys. They're excited to get out of there and have another opportunity. This last game, you know, a lot of teams don't get the opportunity to play at this point in the season. So just having an opportunity and being able to take advantage of it. Um, not only in the actual game, but then all the practices leading up to it, I think it's important. And I think that everybody, including myself, has tried to take advantage of it. So it'll be fine. Curtis. Hey, Felipe, you had a couple of your targets today and uh, Hudson and Traylon get some all SEC honors. As a quarterback, how is it for you to, to see a couple of your pass catchers get recognized like that? Yeah, that's good. I think when, um, when they get recognized, it's a good thing. Uh, you know, those guys come to work every day and do their job and then go out there on Saturdays and, and make a name for themselves. So it's, you know, something that I see every day in practice. Um, but at the, at the end of the day, just knowing that those guys work that hard throughout the offseason and then all, you know, the training throughout the season and strenuous work that goes on your body, 
day in and day out on the grind and then being able to have that that work recognized uh it's a relief and it's it pays off so i'm sure those guys are happy and i'm happy for them they should be happy because that's a big accomplishment I mean, not everybody gets to say they're you know they get those accolades so felipe we've seen all across the country guys that opt out the last few games of the regular season or decide to skip the bowl game, but you haven't done that. You know, wh why is that? Why, what made you want to stick around and, and play and, and play in this bowl game? Yeah. Uh, I think just speaking for me, um, you know, I just, I, I, I feel like, you know, it's just my duty, not necessarily my duty, but for me, I, I want to stay and I want to finish the season out. I want to finish what I started. I came here to compete for a season and that's what I'm going to do. Um, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like, man, I've, I've gone to work week in and week out, you know, with these guys uh, for, for 10 straight games and, you know, why stop on the 11th? So it, it, it's just something for me, um, you know, my my pride and just being able to go out there and I owe it to these guys. I owe it to Coach Pittman, all the guys that have been able to just welcome me into the program um, and just help me take care of my body when I first got here. Just being able to owe that to them and go out here and try to get a big time win. Um, it's just a great opportunity, man. It means a lot to me um, as a person, as a player. Is being a part of this program you know it's bigger than me and um i think you know faster that you can realize that that you know the picture is bigger than you that the best better things off will be so you know it'll be a good opportunity um, kyle did you call on me oh yes, felipe sir. uh happy birthday too i meant to say that earlier um I, I have two more what have you seen from the TCU defense, what do you make of their uh, their defensive squad? I think they're good. I think that they're good year in and year out. Uh, you know, with their, their, their coach, the head coach being obviously like a defensive minded guy, I think they do a great job, you know, just making plays. You know, there's always somebody around the ball uh, making plays. And I think that their they're guys up front are active um, and, and they got good players, you know, power five school. They're, they're a really good team on defense. and. Um, you know, we will, we're preparing and we will, we will need to be prepared um, on Saturday, on Saturday um, when a game, when the game comes. So I don't know. I think they're a really good team. I think they're good on the back end um, up front. They're very active, but you know, it'll be a challenge for us. And, you know, we like, we like challenges, you know, every game this season has been a challenge for us and we go out there and just answer to the answer to the bell. So. Hey, I think we all might've just assumed that you were going to play one year and then test the NFL waters. Um, Sam, I'm sure, would be very elated if you were to come back. Have y'all had the conversation, and have you given it any thought? Yeah, so I, I hit on two points of that. I don't think that by any means my goal is to test the NFL waters, um, but, you know, my goal is to go there and, you know, be productive and be, you know, have a, have a great career there. But, no, um, you know, I think that me and Coach Pittman have talked about it multiple times, but, um, I think just the, he, he, he knows that, and that's one thing I love about him. He's always been the type of person that, you know, the best decision for you, the best decision, you know, for me. And, um, and we'll have that conversation again some, at some point, but you know, as of right now, it's, you know, it's in the talking. So I don't know, we, we, we've been talking about it, but we'll sure, surely talk about it more when the time comes to make a decision. So. All right, we've got time for a couple more. Let me know if you can get more in the chat. Curtis. Curtis. I'm good, Kyle. All right, that wraps up with Felipe. Thank, Thank you, guys. You.